We're into fall here on BC's Sunshine Coast and the fall colors are so pretty. We got the leaves on the trees changing colors. We got reds, yellows and orange. I just love it. But I feel like it goes by so fast. In no time, the wind picks up and just blows the leaves off the trees. So it won't be very long and we're going to be losing that color. But it's still very pretty right now and I'm enjoying it. I wish I had more time to play and just go walk around and take videos and photos, but uh, this week it just, it comes and goes and this week is a busy week. There's just more work than play. So that's what it is. That's all right. It's pouring rain outside today, so it seems like a good idea to go fix the car. The uh, fan <laughs> in our car doesn't blow all the time. And if I wasn't lazy and I would have diagnosed it right the first time, I would save myself this little job, but I'm, long story short, I'm going to go fix the blower motor on our car. Hopefully. <laughs> Book it. Done. Guaranteed. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's see that. <laughs> <laughs> got this Frankenstein monster of a screwdriver. So this is the part in the car that uh, basically tells the cabin how warm and cold it is. So if this is burnt out, it doesn't matter how high you put the fan on, it's not gonna run. The internet tells me that if I pry this off, there are two terminals in there that are shorted and that I can just fix it with a jumper wire and then put it back in the car and my fan will work again. So I'm gonna play mad scientist and see if that actually will work today. That's not quite what I was expecting inside. <laughs> it's different than the drawing I saw for it. So I think this is what this is, because there's, I see the four prongs there's a capacitor up here. What did you grab? This is my multimeter, and I'm going to use it to test the resistance in this part. And that's going to tell me if there's a short there or not. And if there is, in theory, I can fix it with a soldering iron. Huh. Yeah, that's what I say. Huh. We'll see how true that is. So this says there's no resistance there. So like when I do this, see how it climbs that number? But then here, it should do the same thing. It should climb, but it's not. So the internet says if I jumper that, it'll work. Okay, how are you gonna jumper it? Soldering iron, baby. Okay, what is this thing called? A power transistor. All right. Yeah. That seemed overly hot. I thought it would be like white hot right now. <laughs> Book it. Book it. Done. Guaranteed. What's happening now? Why has this workbench uh, oh. changed with all of its mess? This is the project that'll never end. So I had a soldering iron, but the soldering iron decided not to work anymore. So then I couldn't solder this little piece that I wanted to solder in there. So then I thought, okay, well, I'll just order a new part, but then I can't get a new part till tomorrow and it's pouring rain. So I need a blower fan. So I still ordered the part, but then we went to the store and bought a new soldering iron so I can try and scab this one together so that I don't have to drive around with an inverter and a house fan in the rain to try and keep my car. <laughs> like I could seal up the windows in the, in the rain. So fingers crossed this works. It's kind of scabby, but it only has to last until tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. And now we're here. There, it looks like it works. So, we'll see. Which way is this gonna go on? Okay. Oh, fingers crossed. Let's see if it blows up or not. Fan works! There it goes. Yay! And now that'll last me till tomorrow when I go to pick up the real part. And at that point, I'll take apart the scabby part, get rid of it, put in the new part, and then button it all up and make it all nice. And the car will be good for another 200,000 kilometers. Nice. We picked up the part the next day. Thanks, Kedback. They had ordered it in for us. But this is 10 days later, and this is still sitting in our home, and we haven't put it in yet. 
I'm not picking on you, Paul. Uh, we've had a really bu busy time, so we've had a really busy week. And uh, the scabby part that he fixed, that he soldered together, has been working. So that's great. Thanks, hon. My next little adventure is I do a hike with Donna up in Sprockets. Sometimes I bring my camera and sometimes I don't. And so last minute I grabbed my camera, but then I didn't really feel like filming till halfway through. <laughs> so then you join us on the hike part of the way through and there's just a little few clips here for you to enjoy. At this point, we are on the trail called Wicked Ditches. It's an old logging road with exactly that, Wicked Ditches. But there are cute little bridges to help us cross the streams. Once we reach the intersection of Tramway Trail, we start heading back down. Upper Tramway Trail is a nice path with some gradual downhill. This trail is marked with red markers. There are massive stumps left from previous logging. Imagine that ancient forest. A lot of this is sprockets and Mount Elphinstone, all that. You know, we're hiking the mountain. Woohoo! <laughs>